Your neighbor could have a dungeon and you'd never know it. It sounds unlikely, but it happens more often than you would think. All of the people on this list were found with a dungeon in their home. Some of them had no idea it was even there, while others were well aware. Number 10. A YouTuber named DemC7 is thrilled to move into his very own apartment in England. The rent was so outrageously low that he decided to sign the lease without checking the place out first. It's a decision that he would soon later regret. The layout of the house is weird and the bedroom is a little more than a cramped cot, but it's what's below ground that bothers Dempsey the most. What's this? That's definitely a handle. He opens the trap door and finds a drab flight of old brick steps, leading to a series of grimy rooms. At one point, his flashlight chances upon a startling discovery. This strange grate in the middle. Obviously a burial grate. Brick seat or bed. Sacrificial altar. As it turns out, this building is a converted 19th century monastery, and now Dempsey 7 suspects burials and sacrificial ceremonies have taken place under his home. He continues looking around and soon discovers the underground lair, stretches all the way to his neighbor's apartment too. At this point, Dempsey 7 is alarmed enough to retreat above ground and never go there again. Nobody knows what horrors have occurred beneath Dempsey 7's apartment over the centuries, nor what will happen to him if he continues to stay there. Number 9. When Kayla Brown and Charlie Carver randomly went missing one day, police were able to track their cell phone signals to a forest deep in Woodruff, South Carolina. There, they found Carver's car abandoned in the woods and spray-painted a different color. When they pulled the cell phone records of a suspect, they found he was in the same area as Kayla and Charlie. Police go to his residence and find nothing in his barn, but when they walk past a giant container, they hear screaming from inside. Just a girl. Just a girl. Just a girl. How are you, honey? This is, this, cutters. this is our best friend. He's a paramedic. Oh, yeah. Okay, we're going to get you out of there, okay? Just hang those for me. Anybody got a, I need a handcuff key. They find Kayla inside of the empty container with a gigantic chain around her neck. She quickly tells police what happened to her boyfriend, Charlie. Todd Colehep shot Charlie Carver three times in the chest, wrapped him in a blue tarp, put him in the bucket of the tractor, locked me down here. Todd was sentenced to life in prison. He confessed to taking the lives of seven other people. Number 8. For months, this building served as an extremist stronghold after they invaded a small town in Iraq. When the town was finally liberated, survivors described how hundreds of innocent people were taken here by the secret police and treated with unspeakable cruelty. Now a squad is patrolling through the burnt out building for the very first time, and what they find inside is a stark reminder of how senseless war can be. These stairs are where people were found hanging by the banister. These small, featureless rooms are where captives were subjected to techniques straight out of the medieval ages for hours on end, and if they weren't being manhandled or worse, these tiny cells are where they were kept in total darkness with barely enough space to stand or lie down. The town is trying to recover from this traumatic invasion and get on with life as best they can, but the memory of this place has made a permanent impact on their lives and psyche. Number 7. A landlord is inspecting one of his properties in Philadelphia when he discovers something horrible below ground in a dark and filthy boiler room with absolutely no lights. He finds four people being held captive under dungeon-like conditions. They are half-starved and staring ahead blankly. One of them has been chained to a boiler. There are also multiple children in the household, all badly neglected. A two-year-old was so malnourished that they still look like an infant. Most of them had been kept inside permanently. Police find numerous social security documents all over the house and quickly piece together the facts. A woman named Linda Weston has been going around befriending the mentally disabled. Once she has gained their full trust, she invites them to live with her and then applies for legal guardianship over them and their children. 
Once they are in her house, she locks them in the boiler room dungeon and lives off their monthly government checks. She has been doing this for a long time and has become an expert at evading authorities. Police suspect she may have captured as many as 50 people over the years. Whenever social workers would become too suspicious, she would simply move and find a new dungeon. Police were still looking for her in Florida and Texas when she was found in Philadelphia. In total, she collected $212,000 in social security checks for over 10 years. Before getting caught, she was sentenced to life in prison. Number 6 a YouTuber named Jonathan Russo is renovating a room in his home when he discovers something out of place. He taps on a bottom portion of the wall and it sounds hollow, so he cuts away a hole. And I find a hidden room underneath the house. The space is lined with old bricks and carries an ominous and foreboding atmosphere. Jonathan feels very out of place and doesn't stay for long. It is pretty creepy. The room itself appears to have no structural purpose and seems to be walled off for no reason. This, combined with Jonathan's reluctance to go any further, raises some questions. I wonder what happened in there, if anything, that would cause a previous owner to seal it away. Number 5 a Facebook user in Tlompantla, Mexico is walking down the street when he discovers a missing section of a wall and takes a look inside. The hollow dungeon-like area is filled with what appears to be stacks of caskets. Whether the caskets were filled or not is anyone's guess. But the point is, why would this area be sealed away underneath a highway overpass? Also, why was this section of wall broken? Maybe it broke from the inside by someone trying to free themselves. Who knows what other secrets could be hidden under there? Number 4 in 1988, a man in Syracuse, New York began taking teenage women and keeping them in his homemade dungeon for his own sadistic gratifications. John Jamelski had constructed a 12 by 24 foot holding cell under his garage that he told visitors was just a storm shelter. Inside was a dirty foam cushion, a bathtub filled by a garden hose, and a plastic bucket for a toilet. Over the next 15 years, Jamelski would trap five different women and keep them in this dungeon against their will. Sometimes he would hold them for months at a time before releasing them, sometimes even years. Each time he let one of them go, he would threaten to return if they ever told anyone what happened. Sometimes he would even say that he was involved with the police and there was nothing they could do. Most of the women never went to the police after being let go. The few that did were not believed. Amazingly, his wife was inside of the house most of the time until she passed away from cancer. Though I'm fairly sure that she had no idea what he was really up to. In 2003, Jamelski took his latest captive out of the dungeon into a local bar to sing karaoke. She managed to make a cell phone call to her sister. While Jamelski was distracted, her sister called the police and they freed her. Jamelski was sentenced to 18 years and will be eligible for parole in 2021. By then, he will be 85 years old. Number 3 the Chateau d'Urtel is a French castle first established in the 11th century. A YouTuber named Chill Bill and his team get permission to explore the deep wells underneath the castle with a drone to see what they find. While exploring the estate, the team eventually come across a small opening at the top of a staircase. They send the drone down attached to a rope for easy recovery in case anything goes wrong. Once past the vertical drop, they are stunned to find a full-size dungeon littered with human remains. At one point, the drone dangles directly above the bone-white cranium of a prisoner who is left to perish without food or water. Think about what happened right here. People walking up and down these steps. Souls down there, people down there screaming and dying.
it's hard for me to believe that being locked up in a dungeon without food or water could ever be seen as a normal punishment. Number 2. One day a severely deranged man in Austria named Wolfgang Pricklopiel overpowered a 10 year old girl on her way home from school. He stole her off the street and took her to his homemade dungeon where he would keep her for 8 long years. The girl, Natasha Kampusht, was in shock and unable to think for herself. Wolfgang Pricklopiel played psychological mind games on her to make her feel worthless and unable to escape. Once she was fully dependent on him, he would regularly make her clean the house from top to bottom and physically force himself on her. This continued for years and years until one day he began to let her go outside for brief chores. He was always sure to stay close by. But one day, while she was vacuuming the inside of his car, he got a phone call and she got a chance to escape. Natasha's vacuuming was too loud to have a phone conversation, so Wolfgang took a few steps to hear better. This was all the space Natasha needed to get away. Once she had sprinted away from the house and down the street, Wolfgang knew that he would be arrested and charged. He threw himself in front of a train that very same day. The courts awarded Natasha the home as financial compensation. She still visits the home from time to time as a reminder of what happened. Although she hates Wolfgang Pricklopiel and resents what he did, she also still carries a picture of him in her purse. It's a complicated relationship that she can never fully explain to anyone, not even herself. Before we get to number 1, my name is Chills and I hope you're enjoying my narration. If you're curious about what I look like in real life, then go to my Instagram at DylanIsChillinYT and tap that follow button to find out. I'm currently doing a super poll on my Instagram. If you believe ghosts are real, then go to my most recent photo and tap the like button. If you don't, DM me saying why. When you're done, come right back to this video to find out the number one entry. Also, follow me on Twitter at YTChills because that's where I post video updates. It's a proven fact that generosity makes you a happier person, so if you're generous enough to hit that subscribe button and the bell beside it, then thank you. This way, you'll be notified of the new videos I upload every Thursday and Sunday. Number 1 these radical extremists in Pakistan kept children chained inside a dungeon where they were made to recite religious scripture well past exhaustion. They were only given a small portion of vegetables and water to eat each day, just barely enough food to stay alive. When the Pakistani police rescued the children and teenagers, they heard stories of extreme punishments for simple wrongdoings. One of the punishment methods administered was a cane covered with hot spices that would add an unbearable burning sensation to each of the lashes. No less than 54 people were rescued from the dark dungeon basement by authorities. Even though this extreme form of religious brainwashing is not legal in Pakistan, these dungeons continue to be a prevalent problem in certain regions of the country. All of these YouTubers claim to have caught something on tape that is scary, unexpected, and sometimes even possibly not of this world. I think all of these videos have a strong probability of being real, but as you watch this list, be sure to tell me which ones you think are legitimately unscripted.